Hi, I'm Pratham. And I'm Mary Quinn. And today we're going to teach you how to find the mean, median, mode, and range. Why would I have a need to know that? Well, if teachers are trying to list grades on your report card, they don't want to have to list all 20, so they make an average. But in order to find an average, they have to make a mean. But <clears throat> as you can see, there are lots of numbers behind us, and if teachers had to list all of them, it would make them go crazy. Like him. Hey! Would you like me to name all six million of the reasons, though? There's also reasons for mean, median, mode, and range. No, I'm fine. Okay. So, so stay, stay tuned. tuned. Hi. I'm Mary Clem, <laughs> and I'm going to be showing you how to find your mean and median. So first we're going to do our mean. The way you find your mean is you list all your numbers in your data set. 2, 42, 22, 2, and 7. You list all those up. Then you add them. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 7 is 15. So you want to put your 1 up here and your 5 there and blah, blah, blah. So 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. Your answer will be 75 if you do it right. But that just doesn't make sense. So you might think that we're done with our need and you think it was not easy at all. But it's not. So we still have one more step to find our mean. Now you have to take 75 and divide it by how many numbers in your, you have in your data set. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five numbers in your data set. If you don't understand that, you're dividing them by that because that's just how you do it. But you, you use the five numbers and then or how many numbers you have in your data set. So 75 divided by 5, you should, some people could do that in mental math because times tables, 5 times 12 is 60, you could just add on to that and the answer would be 15. But if you don't know that, then you would just divide it all out. 75 divided by 5, and you probably get the answer to 15 if you did it right. 15 would be your mean. It's not that hard. And so now I will show you how to do median. So all you have to do for your median is you list your numbers in your data set. Least to greatest or greatest to least, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to do at least the greatest. So 2, 2, 7, 22, and 42. You would pick the number in your middle, in the middle, which is 7, and then that would be your median, but if you had four numbers, there wouldn't be a middle number. So what you would have to do is say there was no seven. It would just be two, two, twenty-two, and forty-two. So what you do is you take the two biggest numbers. I mean the ones in the middle. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So, um, 2 and 22 is our numbers in the middle. You take those. And then you would add them up. Right? Right, you add them up. Okay. And then 2 plus 2 is 4. And then bring down your 2, 24. 24 would be. Your mean 
I admit, correction, if you caught me there, you are right. Nice job. If you did not, then, oh, but 24 is not your answer. You now have to divide 24 by 2. So let's do that. And you should already know 24 divided by 2 is 12. Then you times things. So if you didn't, you divide that out and you need to get 12. And then 12 would be your median. Yay, we're finished. OK, so now Pratham is going to be doing his way of showing you how to do range in both. Bye, people. Hi, I'm Pratham, and I'm going to teach you what range and mode are. First of all, we're going to do range. Yeah. Range is always the biggest number minus the smallest number. So for us, it'd be 42 minus our smallest number, which is 2. So it would be 40. So our range is 40. And Mode. <coughs> mode. Mode is the number that's the most common. So it would be 2, 42, 22, 2, and 7. Out of these, 2 comes the most often. You know, you could have just said Models model. Models are all popular and all, so <laughs> it's the number that's the most popular. Carrots. Carrots. Say cheese, Bravo.